<laughs> That's a good start. At least you worked it out. <laughs> Funny. Hey guys, welcome to another video. So today we have another mock driving test. Uh, before we get started, any of you that are learning to drive and want to take part in one of these uh, mock tests, which are absolutely free, all you need to do is follow us and uh, drop us a message on Instagram at DJ and Driving, and we just select learners, learners randomly. Yeah. So um, yeah, just make sure if you do want to take part in one of these that you're available on a Tuesday and a Friday. I can pick you up from um, the train station or the bus station if you can't make your way to the actual test centre, because uh, those are the two days that I film. Yeah. And finally. Those of, you, those of you that are learning to drive, please check out the Ultimate Driving Course, a must-have tool for all learner drivers. Right then, so today's learner driver is Freya. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so Freya, could you tell us a bit about your driving? Um, I've done like 40 hours, I did a course. Um, and Pause I've there. Pause there. Right, so guys, um, <laughs> I just want to mention that we did do a, a video previously just before we filmed this one, yeah, which is already up on the channel. So if you're watching this, you can go and watch that video uh, where Freya talks about her experience of doing a crash course. Yeah, yeah. she did a crash course, yeah, which wasn't the best experience, but yeah. No. She, she did about 40 hours there. And, yeah. Um, yeah, and then carry on. Yeah, and then I took my test, might have been two weeks ago now, and I failed. Okay. Um, so yeah, so I just like I've booked in another test. Yeah. So hopefully I'll pass next time. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Right then. So um, you started watching the videos soon after you failed, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> They'd come up before you guys. Right. And uh, you, yeah, if you had watched them before, you would have uh, <laughs> uh, yeah had a bit of a better chance. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right then. So um. The, w the way this works, if you do make any faults, I won't say anything until uh, the end of the test. Okay. Yeah. And for those of you that are watching, if Freya does make any faults, any serious faults will be in red text, any normal faults in amber text. Yeah. Any questions before we start? Don't think so. Have you done all the show me tell me questions? No. Yeah, oh, sorry, you explained that in the, in the video. What yeah. would we, we'll leave that out, yeah, but okay. um, I'll send you the link of a minute. They are on the channel, okay. all the questions. All you have to do is just watch them and, and revise you. Okay. okay. Thank you. And guys, Freya hasn't driven this car before, but she's familiar with the area because this is where you did your previous test, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so uh, yeah, whenever you're ready, if you could uh, move off, we're going to start off by following the sat nav, yeah? Yeah. Freya is trying to move off, but has forgotten to start the engine. That's a good start. At least you worked it out. <laughs> this time she forgets to release the handbrake, so stalls. Oh man. <laughs> this isn't funny. This is just oh, no. drive itself. We're creating time. That's shocking. Ideally, Freya should have switched the wipers on before moving off. Our visibility isn't the best. She does take a bit longer than I would have liked, but switches them on just in time before our visibility gets worse. After 50 yards, turn left. And then left again? No, no straight down, oh. yeah. At the end of the road, turn left. At the end of the road, turn left, then take the second right. When slowing down on the approach to a junction, you should always gently brake first and then press the clutch. Freya has a habit of pressing the clutch first and then braking. This happened on almost every junction. Turn left, then take the second right. Our view is quite restricted, as this is a closed junction. Freya carries out good observations and makes sure it's safe before emerging out. It 
It's always best to ensure your mirrors are adjusted correctly before you start driving. Freya adjusts her mirror while we wait at the lights, and without realising, knocks my mirror. Yeah, it's best not to knock the examiner's mirror. Go right on the roundabout, third exit. She enters this roundabout well. We are taking the third exit, so at this point now, as we are level with the second exit, Freya should signal left. This could lead other road users to think we are going back around to the following exit. When moving off in this situation, you should check both side mirrors to look out for cyclists. Freya doesn't check the mirrors before moving. Go right on the roundabout, third exit. She changes lanes well and selects a safe gap when entering the roundabout. The timing of the left signal was better when exiting the roundabout. The speed limit is 50 miles per hour. Freya builds up speed a little slow. After 400 yards, cross the roundabout, first exit. Cross the roundabout, second exit, then keep left. She enters this roundabout well. But after entering the roundabout, instead of keeping to the left, she drifts slowly over to the right hand lane. Sharp left. At this left turn, Freya forgets to change gear and continues in fourth. Should have selected second gear before the turn and brought the clutch up instead of keeping it down. Turn right. This right turn is on a sharp bend and many drivers get confused and mess up the position and forget to look out for oncoming vehicles. Freya deals with this turn really well. Now I'm going to ask her to park up on the left. She stops well and positions nice and close to the curb. And if you could park up anywhere safe on the left please. Thank you and move off when you're ready. When moving off, Freya doesn't check her right blind spot until after she moves. Should have checked it before moving. This is one of the faults she said she made on an actual driving test. Head, 
you say it, Yeah. We're coming up towards the end of the test, and Freya hasn't made any serious faults so far. But that's about to change as she makes four in the last few minutes. This first one was for stopping at the roundabout when it was clear and safe to continue. Cross the roundabout, third exit. the lights are, yeah? Yeah. And then turning right to the lights. Okay. She deals with the roundabout well, but makes a serious fault after exiting. When moving into the right hand lane to turn right at these lights, she forgets to check the mirrors. Right at the light. Yeah. Turn right, then turn left. The videos obviously help you because you're going into that lesson knowing exactly what you're going to do and just having that knowledge just makes that lesson faster and you feel a lot better. 38 easy to understand precise videos covering every single topic required to pass the driving test. These are not just theory based, they are practical videos demonstrating everything from moving off and stopping a vehicle to all of the manoeuvres and every other module required. So if you're lacking knowledge or maybe your instructor has forgotten to cover something or you're just not grasping a certain topic then this course has it covered. You can watch the videos before your driving lessons, which means you'll get into the car knowing exactly what to do. This will definitely save you time on your lessons. And park up anyway safe on the left. You could partly blame me for this fault, as this was a tricky place to ask her to park up, as there is a bend ahead. This is something I do to test my learners out. The examiner wouldn't normally do this on your test. Freya parks up on the bend. Not a safe place to stop. Okay, and move off when you're ready. When moving off, this time Freya does check the right blind spot before moving. a stop sign at this junction. Freya notices it and does fully stop before emerging out. At the end of the road, turn left please. Passing these parked vehicles, Freya gets a bit too close. As you just saw, she got too close to the previous set of parked vehicles. This time, she gets even closer. Ideally, you should keep around a metre of space, enough for car doors to open. If you can't leave that much space, then you must slow down. Keeping the clutch pedal down, as Freya did, doesn't help in this situation, as the road is downhill and this would give her less control and increase the speed. Okay, stay to the right please, stay to the right. 
I say keep it. It's fine to use the other side of the road, yeah. Yeah. Now I'm going to ask her to do the reverse parallel parking manoeuvre. Her reaction was quite funny. Thank you. And if you could carry out the reverse parallel parking manoeuvre using <laughs> using that uh, car in front, yeah. Yeah. So pulling up next to you have done it. Be, you have done it before, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you pull up next to it, yeah. reverse, finishing nice and close to the curb, yeah. And when you finish, you can leave a maximum gap of one car length between the back of that car and the front of our car, yeah. Okay, so you don't have to finish up too close, and don't worry about blocking the driver when you finish up. Okay. Okay. She carries out good all-round observations before reversing and continues with the good observations throughout the manoeuvre, checking out the back and the right blind spot. Okay, do you want to move the... So, oh, I've yeah. got it. She does finish up slightly wide from the curb. This sort of gap wouldn't be a serious fault. <laughs> We're going to end the test here. Let's get Freya's reaction to her driving. Okay, done? Cool, so um, switch off the engine, we're gonna finish the test there now. Okay, just take the key out for me. Just pop it there, that's fine. Okay, so that's the end of the test, Freya. How do you think you did? Shocking. Shocking, what was shocking? It was terrible. Well, best of all, I'm like, I'm, I'm not, I'm not parallel to the car in front. Um, so with this maneuver, we're slightly out, yeah, this will, this would be a fault on your test, but not a serious fault. Oh, okay. Okay, so yeah. you're, you're, you could have actually come back a, a, a bit, bit more, more so, yeah, yeah, and get a bit clo closer, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, overall, your checks are pretty good on the manoeuvre. Yeah, so, um, you're okay with this? The first pullover as well, when you told me to, I completely forgot, and my checks were bad, oh, I thought my checks were bad on that, and it was only until I drove up, and I was like, I think I panicked a bit, and then... That blind spot check. 
Yeah. 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 That, that's I thing forgot that, it. <laughs> that, that's the thing that you mentioned that um, yeah. you missed up on your actual test. So you were looking over there. Yeah. Or just but, there. Yeah. But that's the blind spot. Yeah. And you did it just as you moved off. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, but on the other occasions when I should to park up, you did. But that one time when I should to park up, um, okay. So the two things that you mentioned that that wasn't a serious fault. Yeah, do you think you did any anything else that was serious? Um, uh, I think I'm not sure, but you know, like the stop sign, I wasn't sure how to. I don't know if you had to. Like stop on the line like we haven't been through that and I haven't been to one before so I didn't know if you had to like stop at the stop sign stop at the line like so yeah. I sort of sort of crawled to the line and then stopped at the line I was a bit unsure yeah. so I, you I suppose that could be but I don't know yeah it's a line you use oh, a line okay. as your marker so you stopped on the line and then obviously you didn't have the best view then you creep forward that was fine you did stop yeah you did that okay as well um, probably my speed I was a bit I thought my I thought when I was on like the 50 road I was doing like 40 yeah, yeah. so there I can see yeah twice your build up of speed was a little bit slow yeah, yeah you could have uh, built up a little quicker but again not serious I don't know. so I seven but the ones that you mentioned nothing serious yeah so um shall tell you the part you messed up on yeah <laughs> yeah okay <laughs> overall it was it was it was pretty good it's like you know stuff that you mentioned to me like your mirrors in general you said the instructor that you've had for your crash course that you did yeah it didn't really go through the mirrors yeah so you know when mm. you, you know generally when you're like so say if you're just driving along and there's a parked vehicle in your way and you want to overtake do you know which mirrors you check before okay so just always remember whichever way you're going to move your car whichever way you're going to steer yeah, so always imagine there's somebody about to overtake you okay. from both sides. Yeah? yeah, just imagine there's a motorway. Yeah, so before you steer to the to the right, which mirrors do you think you would check? Well, I'd have said the right. However, on my test, one of my minors were when I was moving into the right-hand lane, and I didn't check my left-hand mirror. They, they can't. They can't. Uh, you see, that's no. A bit my left-hand. Sorry, all the way around. My left to my right. So I got. So yeah, I got a minor for not checking my left. Not. The other way around. Yeah, so, you know, if you're going over to the right and you don't check your left mirror, that's fine. And same, if you're coming over to the left. Oh, so you don't have to check both of them? No, you don't have to check. Oh, so, you know, you know when you're changing direction, yeah. You just it's change. A, it's always your main mirror first. Okay. That gives you a true picture of what's happening behind. And then it's a mirror to which you're going to so be steering. Yeah. Okay. So, you know when you're parking up? Yeah. Which two mirrors do you need to check then? The main. That's well, it, yeah. To the left, that, the left. That's yeah. it, good. Yeah, so I could tell that sometimes you're just checking all the mirrors randomly, yeah. So you've got to well, know which Yeah, mirrors. because he hasn't told me. I just... And because everyone said, obviously, mirrors is a main... That's what I've heard. Mirrors is a big it, thing it, that people... It is a big thing, yeah. But you've got to know when to check them and why well, you're Well, that's what I'm saying that. because, obviously, in my test as well, I was literally, like, checking yeah. all of them because... I mean, I don't know. I want to cover all of them for the best. So, however, you, you did pick up a serious one for your mirrors. I said, you know, when we did that roundabout where I said to you, we're going towards those lights. Then at the lights, we're going to turn right. Yeah. Yeah. So you came off the roundabout. You came off in the left hand lane. Yeah. Then you said, "Are oh, we turning right?" Then you move from the left lane and to I the didn't right lane. Check. That's yeah. it. So if you change your lanes without Need a mirror check, check, that's a that's definitely a serious fault. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the that was your serious fault there. Yeah. But just before that. We did a roundabout where we were going straight ahead to the third exit, yeah. There were cars on the roundabout, but it was quite clear they were going over there. And what did you do? Stopped. Yeah, you stopped. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay, but me, <laughs> I'm pretty harsh with the, with, the, with the marking on these kind of faults because I want no, to know. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, I, wanna, I want you guys to know what you can pick up a serious fault for, yeah. I think okay. I definitely, on, now that you've said it, I knew. Where yes, I went wrong, you, sort you of don't thing. want to be too hesitant and too cautious either. Yeah. yeah, you've got to have that. Like at the first two roundabouts, we did was pretty good. Yeah, the big roundabouts, your judgment was good. See, I this is gonna sound absolutely stupid, but the lesson before my test, I went on a roundabout with my instructor. The cars weren't coming, they were going that way, just like we just had. And he told me, No, he slammed the brakes on because he said there was cars on the roundabout. He said you shouldn't go when, not like literally all on the roundabout, but like when there's cars and you can see the cars approaching on the roundabout, you shouldn't go. But if they're turning, yeah, if they're going that way, then surely that's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so it's not just seeing a car; it's you got to assess like where they're going. Yeah. Yeah, and if they're not coming towards you, it's fine to continue. Okay. Yeah, you, you obviously the main thing is in, 
when you enter the roundabout, you don't slow anyone down. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And you got to show us that you've got that judgment. Obviously, that doesn't happen when you first start learning to drive, but at yeah. this stage, yeah. Okay, like you're aware of it, yeah? Yeah. So those two things are marked as a serious. Okay. And then, like your mirrors in general need improvement, yeah? Yeah. Okay, like um, you can watch the video back, but just like I'm just giving you the knowledge which mirrors to check on when, yeah? Okay. And um, the other one, you were getting quite, like, it was okay at, at most mo most times, yeah, but towards the end now, you were getting very, like you, you pass this part vehicle really close. Yeah. yeah? And then, uh, that was a serious fault anyway but as we were going down you were still driving like you, you know when you pass park cars yeah how much space are you supposed to keep do you know no okay you're supposed to keep a meter enough for them to open their door yeah oh. okay so <laughs> i won't be opening the door if i was driving fast <laughs> exactly exactly again the awareness is there yeah is, but you haven't been taught it yeah yeah okay yeah. so you know if you can't leave that much space and you have to do have to get close you've got to slow your speed down yeah. Always think someone's gonna fling that door open. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but then, like, there were no oncoming vehicles, and I think so you, moved yeah, across. you were just trying to keep to your side of the road. But yeah. that's when I came and I said, "Look, you can use that side of the road yeah. because there's no, there's no danger." Okay. Yeah. So um, that was a serious fault for that. And the one that I'm, deb I'm debating now, when I should do, you know, before the stop sign is on that upper road. Yeah. Yeah. I should do park up anywhere safe. Yeah. And. Yeah, again, that was me just testing it. There wasn't really a safe place to pull up straight away. <laughs> okay, so you, you always make sure the examiners won't won't do this. They won't try and trick you like that. Because yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll be tricked. Okay, but the <laughs> like the if I said I'll park up here, that's mm. different. What did we say? We say like oh, obviously when I wanted you to do the manoeuvre, I said could you park up after the silver car? Yeah. Yeah. But if we say park up anywhere safe. There's not supposed to be a car on the other side. I can't remember if there was. No, it wasn't. Is it supposed to be a car? Like we were on a bend. Oh. And you see the car did behind I us. Up? Yeah. Oh, he beeped to me, didn't he? Yeah, because they can. They had to go on that side. And what if somebody's oh, coming around that know. bend? Yeah. Oh, so he's safe. To, now. Yeah. Well, now I know why he beeped at me. I was thinking. <laughs> he's safe to park on a bend. No. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So, again, listen to the instructions. They park up. Uh, wherever it's safe yeah yeah okay when it's safe do so or they say park up wherever you feel it's safe yeah yeah okay don't think you have to do it quickly but most of the time the examiners ask you it is safe to do so but me when I'm, even when i'm teaching my learners I, I do that kind of stuff on papers it shows me where to how much where, how yeah. much awareness that they've got okay yeah so yeah overall not bad I but mean, at least it wasn't like a major that I got before, at least. Yeah, uh, there was obviously different stuff, but the thing is you're aware of all of it and a lot of the stuff you haven't been taught. Yeah, yeah. I think that was my issue before as well was, I mean, fair enough with the speed, he could have been looking at the sound of like that or it could have just been as simple as like when we were on the 50, I wasn't reaching it enough. Yeah. But like, if that wouldn't have been my minors, with my mirrors and my check, I would have passed, yeah. which is what the way I saw it, sort yeah. of thing. Cool, but, but you're not well. you're not far off at all. Yeah. Okay. okay. Overall driving's good, but the main thing that I like is that your awareness that everything we talk about, you're like, oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And like yeah. I said, the stuff that you haven't been uh, been taught, it's not really your fault. You've got the knowledge now, so yeah. you can work on that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Any questions? don't think so. Freya, thank you very much for Same. doing the mock test. And guys, like always, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.